Hi, this is Paul Schreiber of Synthesis Technology from Knobcom 2019. And today I want to talk about our new Kickstarter program, which is the E520 Hyperion Stereo Audio Processor. This is just a breadboard. Don't panic. It's not going to be this big. It's going to be 48 HP. The Kickstarter launches on November the 15th, and the retail price will be less than $600. So be sure to get your early bird specials to get the best pricing. It'll be available in black and silver. So what this is, it's a stereo version of our two existing processors, the E560 Deflector Shield and the E580 Mini Sampling Delay with added features. Just like we combined the cloud generator and the morphing terrarium into the cloud terrarium, we're doing the same kind of combination and feature add. The difference is those were mono in, stereo out. This is mono or stereo in and stereo out with four voltage control parameters. We have tap tempo, and what's most important is we have a very powerful 480 megahertz DSP with 64 megs of SD RAM. So we run our codecs at 48 kilohertz, 24 bits, and we can do samples in stereo up to 22 minutes long. So I'm just gonna do a quick demo right now. We've only had this breadboard working for a week. So what we have right now is the deflector shield algorithm. This is an exact code rendition of the existing, except it runs on our new processor. So I want to just give a little quick demo. One thing that we've added is we have bypass on all of our effects, something that's kind of lacking in Eurorack. So this is the original signal. It's coming from an E352. It's just a little percussive plink. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to engage the frequency shifter, and you'll be able to see the sidebands on the carrier. And so as you can hear right there, that's the classic frequency shifter effect. I'm going to adjust it higher, and the sidebands go wider and wider. And so this is shifting up and down. I can go back ways and shift down and up. The other thing, like in the E560, is we have a morphing carrier. And so what I can do, instead of just using a sine wave, which, as you can see, is going to shift up and down and up and down very gradually because I'm going to change that carrier so it has some discontinuities in it. Like, for example, right here, you can see it's going to shift up and down, up and down, and go drop down and go up and down, up and down again. It sounds something like this. So that's a very unique effect. Since we, these are all voltage controlled, I have some little LFOs set up externally here. Now so I can sit there and modulate these with an external LFO, and you can get this kind of effect with this. So people who already have the 560, you'll see it's exactly the same thing. This is going to be shipping in April or May of next year. So the 560 and the 580 will still be around at least until next summer. So right now, we've got several different kinds of algorithms, delays, phasers, we have a pitch shifter, we have a shimmer reverb algorithm. And I'm gonna talk about reverb for a second. This is not a reverb processor. We are not trying to be eventied. We're not trying to be lexicon. Or even a ZDSP and all the other spin-based things out there. This is our own unique thing with our own coding. And what we're gonna show people is that you don't need reverb to have some good effects. So mark your calendars for November the 15th. We'll have lots more demos on our website and on my Facebook group. Until then, thank you very much.